So guys, I'm excited to show off this deck. This is Uka Mastemon version. So since the deck doesn't actually need to play any rookies, really at the end of the day, it all it needs is really just the Ukamon package to keep the deck going. So without further ado, let's get into the video and talk about everything. First off, let's go over the Digitama. We are playing four Demi Mera from BT15. The reason why we're playing four of this one is a interchangeable thing you can go with. The Demi Mera is very powerful because we do play a lot of level fives or higher that we can trash out, and that'll give us a draw two for its on deletion, which is really solid. We want to dig a little bit deeper, get to our combo pieces. I feel like this at four is really good. Or if you guys aren't comfortable with this one because you don't think you're going to get a level five or higher as often, you can always go with more of this version of Demi Mera for a BT3. This card is just on deletion, draw a card, trash a card. Yeah, it's up to you how you want to build it. The Digitama isn't as important here. I think it's more or less in the rookie department is where we really care. Now, let's go over it. We do have four promo one, two, three, Ukamon. This one basically says when it comes, comes out of raising or anything comes out of your raising, you basically hatch and gain a memory. This one lets you extend plays and combos just for him just coming up. Sometimes that does matter in some circumstances. Then we do have four. Ukumon that basically says fish the top three cards of your deck, pick a tamer or a Digimon, add it to your hand, and then hatch an egg. It does cost one to evolve on, but yeah, this is the Ukumon package. You play four of this, you play four of this. The deck synergizes extremely well with it. It gives you an, an aggressive early game too, because now you're a step ahead because by the time your opponent promotes up his rookie line or champion line, he's not hatching right away most of the time. They're falling back and you already can build up another thing to get it going. But in this deck, we're not going to be building up anything. We're just basically sending Ukumons in for death. And then we do play one Psychmon. You can play, you don't have to play this. You can easily add this into your ratios. But I like just a spicy little Psychmon, especially since we go a little bit wide. Sometimes we don't want our opponent to be ready for a, you know, death X turn. But we can just use Psychmon to kind of just keep them off their their momentum would it be momentum yeah momentum then we do have four of starter deck 10 gatomon that basically says look at the top three cards add one purple and one yellow digimon among them to your hand put the rest of the bottom of the deck and then your turn when it would digivolve into an angel or a fallen angel it would reduce their digi evolution costs of one and i think it's archangel as well stuff like that does matter especially because it reduces the digi evolution by two it brings it down to a one cost which is really good and then it does have the end of turn jogress effect yeah we we like gatomon for this then we do have gatomon from ex06 basically an on play reveal the top Three cards of your deck, add one Angel, Archangel, or Fallen that in its traits, and then one card with Mirai in its name. So this is your Mirai Searcher, and then add it to your hand, put the rest at the bottom of the deck. And then Gatomon, when attacking, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000 DP. I think it's really good. Then we do have BT16 Gatomon that has Barrier on play by trashing one card in your hand. Return one low six or lower two color Digimon card with red or purple in its from your trash to your hand. This is your Mastemon Retriever card after you trash it. Especially if you have the Demi Mera, you can trash it early. And if you have this Gato up and ready, boom, you're all set. It's an on play when Digivolving, you get it back. And then, you know, all, all turns your opponent's security Digimon get minus 2000 DP, making things so you can swing in with no issue. Then we do have two. We have one Lady Debbie from BT Starter Deck 10. Just in here to trash one card in your hand, reveal the top, three cards your deck, add one yellow and one purple. Similar to Gatamon's effect, it's a searcher. Then you place everything at the bottom and then gives all your yellow Digimon retaliation. This one is BT 11. Something very similar. We're playing it at two. You may play one card from your hand. If you do, trash one card in your hand. If you do, then you return one Mirai or one card from with Angel, Archangel, or Fallen Angel in its traits to your hand. This one basically mirrors the Gatomon's grabbing thing. But yeah, we're going to get pieces back. And then your turns when an Angel Woman or Mirai is played, gain a memory. And then it gives retaliation to all your Angel, Archangels, or Fallen Angel in its traits. And then we do have Lady Devi, the new one. This Lady Devi just has retaliation as is natural, but it is a inheritable scapegoat, which is really good for your Mastemon. 
And then on play, when did you evolving? If you have a Mirai, delete one of your opponent's Digimon level four or lower. If you don't have a Mirai, play one from your trash. So this allows you to cycle back your Mirais if lost, and it's really useful. Then we do have one starter deck 10, Angel Woman. Play one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus security attack one, and then it gives you an extra security attack to play with. Really solid. Then we do have Angel Woman that basically says, search your security stack for one card with Angel, Archangel, or Fallen Angel in its traits, reveal it, then you recover a one, shuffle your security stack, and then when you play a Lady Devi or a Mirai, you gain a memory. And then this gives Blocker inheritable across the board. And then we do have three Angel Woman from the new EX06. This card has Barrier naturally, but on play, when did you evolving? If you have a Mirai, it's gonna minus security attack two to one of your opponent's Digimon until the end of turn, but if you have a Mirai, you may play one Mirai from your hand without paying its cost. This one plays from trash, this will do your hand. I think this is a really solid lineup for Angel Woman to Lady Debbie ratio. I think this is really good. You can change up if you feel like it, but I think this is a good start. Now we mixed them up, but then we do have three Mastamon Ace. If you don't know what Mastamon Ace can do, Astimon Ace is nasty as can be. Let's say you just have an Angel Woman on field and you have a Lady Devi in your hand. Or it doesn't matter what the ratios are or where this is. As long as one's on the field, you have the other counterpart in hand. What you can do, it's really good, is that, you know, DNA Digivolve. This thing has Black's Digievolution for Angel Woman or Lady De Devi. Basically, what's going to happen is this Angel Woman or Lady Debbie on the board is that it's counter timing. So you DNA with the specific cards, one on the field, one in your hand. Basically, when the time comes, your opponent attacks with it. They don't pop the late Angel Woman. You just go boom, boom. And you now your opponent has to deal with this Mastamon. This Mastamon is nasty because it's an on play. When did you evolving? By placing one level five or higher Digimon with Angel, Archangel, or Fallen Angel from your hand hand or trash you play one from hand or trash without paying its cost then if dna digivolve place one digimon card at the bottom of the security stack and then trash the top card of your opponent's security stack until they have four cards or left less so this is a continuous check not a bad thing but it makes sure that they go to four after fully Mastamon's resolved, it's all that goes. Really solid. Mastamon Ace is really nasty, and especially on the right circumstances, can make your opponent have a bad day. The three of it's really good, in my opinion. And then we are playing three of the old school Maste. Because Mastamon really, really is solid. You want to have both of them. They both combo really well with each other. There's no disarray or anything like that. And Mastamon just basically says... When did you only place one yellow or purple Digimon card from your trash at the top of your opponent of your security stacks? If you DNA, you may play a you may search your security stack, then play a level five or lower Digimon card and play it without paying its cost, without paying memory costs, and then shuffle your security stack. And then when you play another Digimon, by an effect, delete one of your opponent's Digimon whose level is less than or equal to the level played. This is where Mastamon just has its natural mid-range-esque effect. Ace will remove almost anything. Mastamon's for earlier-esque deals. The Ace and Mastamon are really solid here. And then it's not a Mastamon deck if you don't little strike people with fear. We do play two Chaos Degration, basically saying, yeah, screw your everything you want to do. Chaos Degration is going to just make your opponent go like, oh, I got to play around this. Once it flips in security or you show it in hand, this card basically... Make sure opponent have a bad day because it gets around most protection skills. There isn't many that just say when removed from the board. But yeah, Chaos Degration will do that. And it'll just place it at the top or bottom of your security stack. And then you trash one. But then you also have a effect that just puts it at the bottom of their or or top or bottom of the security stack. Doesn't trash for its inheritable for its security effect. Then we do play two Flame Hell Sives because it'll give us a ultimate to work with on our turn or on our opponent's turn, especially a hit on security and they try to swing again, we can just blast ace and deal with the threat. Yeah, Flame Hell Scythe is good. Then we are playing two Miss Memory Boost because the trashing two cards, draw a card. There's not many interactions you can do in this game. The the board state, Miss Memory Boost helps at least dig a little deeper. That's kind of what you need to do here. Then we are playing three of the new Mirai, this Mirai is really awesome. One year Digimon with Holy Beast, Archangel, or Fallen Angel is played. 
Suspend this tamer, gain one memory. Then you may digivolve into an Angel Woman or Lady Debbie from it for by from the trash with a cost reduction of one. You just can gain the memory with no issue. As long as the condition is met, you gain the memory and you don't have to digivolve. But you also get the end of turn to your Digimon DNA Digivolve. But it's just another way of going about things. Just kind of giving another Patamon esque shenanigans on the tamer then we are playing two mirai here from the regular bt11 this one's just a memory gainer it's a five cost and this basically says if you digivolve into angel woman or lady debbie if there's only one digimon on board you get to play the counterpart we can just jog us in which is really solid especially combo is really nice with the starter deck gatomon and you just go combo wombo from there and you know without paying its memory cost is really good we are playing two Makos as well. I think Mako at two is really solid because it digs a little deeper. And especially since our Ukumons are our primary focus to be promoted up and just swing in for a little pokey, 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 it's, you know, really good there. But all turns when you play a two color purple or yellow Digimon, you may suspend this tamer, gain a memory. This helps extend our combos with Gatomon. And then we do play one memory setter, Matt Ishida. But if you guys don't know what Matt Ishida does, it sets yourself to three. But when one of your effects trashes a card in your hand by spending this hammer, gain a memory. This extends your plays. We don't trash very often in our hand, but if we do, we do combo nicely. This combos really nicely with your eggs and just being able to have Matt Ishida even early on can just extend your plays immensely especially with your ukumons who are most likely dying in most circumstances it's good just to have the mat because it's all turns too if they pop it on their turn you get some nice value out of it let's just go with the flow here and just show you the full deck because i know that's what you guys are here for is you wait till the end of the video to see what the deck fully looks like once realized we got the mirror eyes, two memory boosts, two chaos degradations, two flame health sives, three Mastemon, Mastemami. Then we got Mastemon Ace, Angel Woolmon, Lady Devies. Then you have Gatomon, Gatomon, Gatomons, Psychmon, Ukos, and then Demi Mera package. But all in all, good stuff going on here. I think the list is pretty solid, and I think you guys should give it a try when it comes out. I think you guys will be surprised and any Mastemon fans waiting for this deck to do something definitely has some potential here. I don't know what the right call is yet, but we'll eventually find that out together. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.